this session, I'm going to cover some of the other basic features of using email in Microsoft Outlook. These features might still sound very basic. However, this is what you'll be using most of the time in the business environment anyway. And particularly if you're getting started with Outlook, first how to check new messages. So when you open Outlook, the new messages will be marked in bold color like this one over here in the top. Then you'll click on the folder, for example, inbox, and then click on the actual bold message. Click on it, and then on the right-hand side, you'll see the content of the message that you received. Now to delete it, of course, you could use the delete button here on the very top or next to it. And notice also you have an option here to follow up with this as a to-do item if you don't have time to deal with it at this point in time. So all you have to do is click on this little flag here and then notice it will add the message here to follow up with this later today on this specific message. Now, if this doesn't show up in your computer, this is available under the View tab here, and then you'll scroll down under the To Do bar, and you choose to show the tasks or not show them from here. So notice now they have disappeared. Under the To Do bar, you can choose Tasks. If you needed to open something that you had marked to view, on it, you can simply double click on that component and it'll open up that message that you had to follow up with from before or at any point. Next, reply to this message and you can do that by simply clicking reply here on the toolbar on the ribbon or right above the message, press reply. And from here, you're simply typing the message that you want to send back. As you use email, it's important to acknowledge the receipt of messages you simply reply to the user, to the requester, that you have received it and that you'll be following up with them. It makes for better communication and that's effective use of email. Today's workplace employees and uh, supervisors and such, they want you to communicate effectively with them. And this is one way to communicate effectively. And then from here you'd press send. Notice that the reply address, it took it automatically. It placed it in the to address. And if you needed to copy somebody else, this is where you'd put in their email address. Notice that under the message tab here, there is this Compose Tools. This is where you can use the various additional tools for formatting this message. Also notice that there is this option here for blind copy or the BCC, the blind copy. It's another option that can be added to your list of options for sending it out. The BCC here, the recipient is not going to know that you actually forward it or send a copy of this message or reply to anybody else. So they are not going to know that you send this to the Gmail address because it's a blind copy of it. And then you'd simply press send. In the case, and I'm not sending it yet here, in the case where you want to do more major formatting of this message, you can also click here on pop out. And this is where you have the more flexibility to format this message in a fancier way because you have a complete window that you can adjust and resize and utilize all the various other tools. And then once we are set and good to go, we press send and that message will be sent out. As you receive messages and such, you might want to reply to all. Reply to all, I would suggest that you use it cautiously. Don't use it for all messages. Sometimes you get messages from a distribution list and all that type of thing. It can be frustrating. So you want to use reply all only if you're part of a team that you're receiving communication and it is necessary for you to reply back to all the members of the team. However, if there is reply, it's important for only specific users or just that sender, there's no need to use the reply all because it can frustrate other users when they receive mail unnecessarily. So if you're ready to press reply here, press send and then it's good to go. And then the forward option here, notice it's in both places here. We click on forward and this is where we can forward this message to somebody else. All you have to do here is just press two and then under the recent people, put in their email address 
and then press send when you're ready to send it. If you want to discard the message, of course, notice you have the option for discarding it. So that's how you reply to a message, that's how you forward it, and that's how you reply to all the individuals as part of a group. Thank you.